Good evening, students. How are you all? I am calling for the six standard students, right? So all you are done that algebra part and arithmetic part. These and all you are done all those things, right? Already I taught whole numbers, integer. That is here. Uh, what it is whole numbers and properties of whole numbers also I taught. Even that what uh, factors and multiples also I taught. So I have decided today, today. That is for geometry part little bit, but you should write in the classroom. That is geometry in geometry only. This part you have to write in a geometry classroom. Remember that. What I am saying, you should write in a geometry classroom only. Understood? Now today I am going to explain the class six angles. That chapter number is ten. Chapter number is ten. Right? So here angles. Angle. What do you mean by angles? So I have taken to that. I should explain you. So two rays with a common end point form an angle. Two rays with a common end point form an angle. So here you see, one person is coming from the vehicle in a two-wheeler. This one person is standing here. See, right, right. Here, and another vehicle is coming from here. On the light is falling on his face. The two. What it forms? What it forms? What it forms? Angle form here. This is one ray. This is another ray. The whole, the both are so commonly we are getting. This is on his face. The both rays falling on his face. That what it forms? The two line. It forms an angle. It forms an angle. What is the common end point? His common end point is face. Then this is the arms. This is the arms. And this is angle. This is angle. This is also arm. And his face is common. We are getting that is vertex. What vertex? This is a vertex. See, I have explained here. This is angle, and this is the vertex corner. When two lines are coming together and joining, the corner should comes. That is vertex. This is the common end point. That is for vertex. This is a two arms. This is one arm. This is another arm. Then when come together, the forms an angle. What it forms? An angle. And the common is that thing. That is the corner. Corner is vertex. Then the corner is vertex. This is an arm. One arm. This is second arm. The common is vertex. And inside what we are getting that is an angle. The corner we get inside the angle is that is for angle. And this inside what we are getting that is for interior angle. Interior angle. And the outside is what we are getting that that is for exterior angle. So let us start here. We will start of types of angles here. Uh, so first one is the acute angle. An angle which measures measures less than 90 degree. Less than 90 degree. For example, you see this is the 90 degree. L shape you will get. See if L shape is there, you have to remember that is 90 degree. Less than 90 degree. Less than 90 degree. Yeah, this is given in that less than 90 degree. Less than 90 degree. That is 30 degree. 40 degree. Uh, examples I have taken. 30 degree, 15 degree, 10 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree. So these are all we get less than 90 degree. Maximum we have to take 80, 90 degree because 80, 90 is less than 90 degree. So less than 90 degree. 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 Less than 90 deg
125 degree, 145 degree, 160 degree, 175 degree, 179 degree. That also less than 180 degree. We are okay. This type of angles are nothing but obtuse angle. Understood? Now the two still next to definitions is that for straight angle. Straight angle. What is straight angle? An angle which measures exactly 180 degree. See, this is straight angle. This I can tell. This is an angle the line is there. Here also 90 and here also 90. Total you will get it. 90 plus 90. If you add this, 90. This is the straight angle. An angle neither come, neither less, neither 170 degree, 60 degree, 210 degree. No. Exactly the 180 degree. That nothing but straight angle. Next, reflex angle. What is a reflex angle means? An angle which measures more than 90 degree, 180 degree, sorry, more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Less than 360 degree. Example C. Example C. 190 degree. Uh, 195 degree. 210 degree. 230 degree. This type of angles. How it will come that angle means? I will tell you. 260 degree, uh, 280 degree, uh, 295 degree, no problem we can take, 325 degree, 345 degree, 355 degree, this type of angles we are taking in less than 360 degree we can take, the angle how it will come in C, this is the dotted line, this is the straight line, this is center, the angle will come this up to here, maybe you can take this, this is maybe, this maybe, how much it will come, 270 degree, no problem, just you assume here, this is, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 180, and more than 180 we are taking, that is for 270 degree, this is a reflex angle, this we call it as a reflex angle, that we are putting the examples, 195 to maximum 330, 359 also we can take, that is also, this is also reflex angle, this type of angles we can name, that the straight angles are reflex angles, these are now the definitions of the angles. Next three two are there, I will explain this. Now you listen here, complementary angles, complementary angles means C, sum of two angles, sum, sum means there are no addition, sum means addition, sum of two angles make 90 degree, if you sum it, Two angles, it makes as a 90 degree, then the angles are said to be a sub complementary. See, I have drawn one angle, right angle triangle, that is exactly 90 degree here. Yeah? So uh, one angle should be taken, this is one angle, this is another angle, this one angle and this another angle. Right? Sum of two angles, sum, we are to sum. 35 degree plus 40, 35 degree, which makes as a 90 degree. Like that we have to take another angle also, no problem. See here. This is 30 degree, this is 60 degree. Both you add 60 degree plus 30 degree. If you add that, it makes as a complementary angle. Sum of two angles. Sum means we have two addition. Sum of two angles make 90 degree. Sum of two angles make 90 degree. Then the angles are set to be a what angles are set to be? The angles are set to be a complementary angle. Understood? Now I am going to explain the supplementary angle. Now see the supplementary angle. So here similar also. Sum of two angles makes supplementary 180 degree. Sum of two angles make 180 degree. Sum means we have to add. Similarly in the complementary angle I got now before only. Then the angles are said to be a supplementary angle we have to write here. Right? Similarly, that here also see 
First angle is 50 degree, another angle is 30 degree, 130 degree. 130 plus 150, we will get 180 degree. This type of angles are the word. Supplementary angles. You add the two sums, sum of two angles, make 180 degree, then the angles are said to be a supplementary angle. Understood? Now I'm going to explain it. Estimation of angles in clock. Clock. I will explain. See, first from 12 to 1, this is the two leaders you see. This make an angle. How many degree? This you see. 1 o'clock, 30 degree. Right? 30 degree. If I take here, 30 plus 30 is 60 degree. This angle is 30. Another angle is also it will come 60 degree. If I take L shape, you see L shape which angle? 90 degree. 90 degree. If I take here, again you add extra 30 degree. 120 degree. If you add here also, this angle will make 150 degree. Angle 6, this is straight angle. See, 12 to 6, straight angle. Straight angles make how many degree? 180 degree. I will write off here, 150 degree is in here. 150. This 180 is 6 o'clock. And I will take here only the angle. Again the whole angle will come here. See, 180 plus 30 degree we add. So, 110 degree. Here we add. This angle is also will come. See, 240 degree. If you add here, 270 degree. Again, 30 degree we add here. How much to get? 2, 300 degree. If you add here, total round and here, up to here. See, 330 degree. Total full round up to 12 to 12. That is 360 degree. One rotation of the clock makes how many degree? One rotation of clock is equal to 360 degree. Remember that. Right? Okay? Okay. Angle 1, 30 degree. Angle 2, 30, 60 degree. 90 degree. I know you are to remember in that. If they give us 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, how did you find? Directly we can do it. So if you don't know the watch, 2 o'clock, 60 degrees. Even you can find out. See, 2 o'clock means 2 o'clock is equal to 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock is how many degrees? We can write directly also. But if you don't know, see, we have, we have the subjective value. So, 360 degree, total circle of that watch, 360 into 2 o'clock divided by how many hours are there? 12 to, that is total is 12 hours. Then we can write 12 on the 12, 12 3 is 36, 12 0 is 0. Then what is the left? 30 into 2, 32 is 60 degree. 2 o'clock means how many degree we got? 60 degree. Here also we got similar like that only. We got like that only. The same way we are getting into that. Right? Okay. So, similarly I will give another one example. See here. So, 6 o'clock you can take. 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock. No problem. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. What is the general formula? 360 into 5 divided by 1. Correct? 12 1 the 12 3 the 36, 12 0 the 0. What is the left here? 30 into 5. See, 5 0 the 0, 5 6 the 30. 5 o'clock means 5 6 the 30, 5 3 the 15. Sorry. 5 0 the 0, 5 3 the 15. 5 o'clock means how many degrees we are getting here? 60 degrees, 150 degrees. Like that, we have to solve by some questions. I will give you here third one also. So, mm, 8 o'clock, you have to solve. And 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. 
here, 8 o'clock. Okay. Next, I will give you, you should solve by yourself only. 7, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Next, 8, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock I will give you. 11 o'clock. You have to solve by itself only in your classroom also, you can write it. Right? You have to solve by itself. The same method you have to apply. Understood?